These new numbers also showed a record for testing in, day, in one day with over 40,000. We spotted a long line to the testing sites in Denver and Federal Heights, and that has some changing recommendations for who should actually get tested. Tori Mason explains. We've also increased testing substantially. Colorado hit a record of over 38,000 COVID tests administered in a single day. But as testing demand increases, down goes supply. We certainly have a limitation on the number of tests that we're capable of doing. Dr. Richard Zane at UC Health says there were fewer qualifications to get a COVID test when they became more available. Now UC Health is only testing people with a doctor's order or those with symptoms. It's certainly concerning, uh, but there isn't an hour that doesn't go by where we aren't working to get more reagent, more testing capacity. For those outside the healthcare system, tests still appear to be accessible. There's over 80 testing sites all over the state. But many are reaching capacity hours after they open. Coloradans were encouraged to take advantage of free testing at the Pepsi Center when it was open. Now people who have insurance are being urged to not utilize Denver's community-based testing sites. Given just the volume of people that want to be tested now, reach out. If you have insurance, reach out to your primary care provider, urgent care facility, and get tested there. Pola says the state is still working to up its testing, but the need is already here. We're working literally every hour to increase testing capacity. I'm Tori Mason, covering Colorado First.